in my uh, example, this is the problem, correct? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, we have 72%. In 2008, uh, it's 87%. Complete parts A through D below. Use the year uh, as the X coordinate, which I may already have said I don't, I'm not a fond of, very fond of. And the percentage as the Y coordinate. Find the equation of the line that contains the data points. Okay, so for now I'm going to stop sharing so we can take a look at this. So even if they don't tell me that, I will always identify the independent variable and the dependent variable before I create the ordered pairs. So in some problems, you're not going to have that information. They're not going to tell us use this for that or use this for this. Okay? So the independent variable is always time in this case. If time is available, uh, in the problem, then time will always be the independent. So that's why this is 2001 and this is 2008. And the dependent variable is 72%. Now, I don't know if they want 0.72 or 72%. I did not finish reading. So one or the other, 87. Okay, so this is this first step is to identify the correct uh, independent and dependent and identify the, the uh, ordered pairs. Okay, so uh, let me go back for a second and, and um, make sure. So, uh, ex and the percentage. So they want, they don't, they want the percentage. It's clear now. Uh, they do not want the decimal number. Again, we normally don't write, don't use percentages. I just want you to know that we use um, decimal numbers. Okay, so then they, this is the correct ordered pair. All I have to do is in step one, oops, determine y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, which is uh, 87 minus 72 over 2008 minus 2001. And they are, uh, just don't want you to get confused on this. OK. So uh, 87 uh, minus 72, that is 15 in my case, and 2008 minus 1 is 7. 2008 minus 2001 is 7. So right here, I have to write the measurement unit. And as we discussed, any rate of change or slope has two measurement units. A measurement unit coming from the top, which in this case is percent, and a measurement unit coming from the denominator, which in this case is year. Without the measurement unit, full credit cannot be awarded. It's like me telling you that I, I, I drive at 50 miles. And you could say, no, you're driving at 50 miles per hour because this is the rate of change of distance with respect to time. You're not driving at 50 miles. Okay, after this, I have y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1, in which I pick any point, it doesn't matter, 2001 uh, and 72 and 15 divided by 7. So then y minus 72 equals 15 over 7 and x minus 2001. I distribute 15 over 7x minus 15 times 2001 over 7, and then I add 72. So in order to determine this, remember, right, how we add and subtract fractions. If you have difficulties with that, you should um, immediately address that issue. I have to multiply this by 7. So I have negative 15 times 2001 plus 72 times 7. So we did that. Um, I have here, I can share my screen and calculate. Where is it? I was ready with it, but uh, where is my... Okay, here it is. Good, so I have negative, this is the negative symbol, negative 15 times 2001 and plus 7 times 72 and this is negative 29511 in my case for my problem so 15 divided by 7x minus 29511 divided by 7 
So this is the equation. I mean, this, I, I, I was hoping, and I'm still hoping that you're not going to have problems with this, right? Okay, I'm sharing my screen again to continue the problem. And now where is my problem? Here it, uh, no, it's not there, it's here, good. Um, so then use the year, okay, find the equation of the line that contains data points, type an exact answer, do not include percentages symbol in your answer, okay. So where's my keyboard now? Okay, I got it. So, I normally don't enter this, so I don't know if it's going to accept the way I enter it. Yeah, it's not going to accept the way I enter it, because I, I have to put parentheses. I, I don't know how they accept the answer. Or I can, uh, I can write 15 You don't need the parentheses, you can just write it. Uh, that would not be correct. Okay, so divided by uh, 7. Okay, I think it's going to accept it like that, minus uh, 29511 and divided by 7. Okay, uh, where is my button here? Check the answer. Uh, let's see what they want next. Um, part B, use the equation in part A to estimate the percentage of uh, internet users in 2012. Okay, so all I have to do for that is uh, replace x by 2012 and see what happens. So back to my equation, so whatever they want, I'm going to do this time. I'm, uh, am I, did I switch or I didn't? No, I didn't. Okay. Sorry. Keep me on the right track, please. Okay. If they do that to me, I just want to um, put it in because I don't want to type in several times times x and minus uh, 29511 uh, divided by 7 and then go to second and table 2012 and I get, let me see the full answer, 95.5714. So for x 2012, y equals 95.5714. Let's see if they want an approximation. I don't know if they want an approximation. Simplify your answer. Use the answer from part A to find the answer for rounded to the nearest tenth as needed. Okay, so it's 95.6 in my case. 95.6. Let me look at my number again. 95.57. Yes, to the nearest tenth. Okay, where is my button? Okay, part uh, B. Use the equation to estimate the year in which the percentage of users will reach 100. Okay, I have to stop sharing because in this particular question I have the percentage is 100. So 15 over 7x minus 29511 over 7. This is a linear equation. Of course, I'll multiply everything by 7 to eliminate fractions. And let me move this further. Page 2. Okay, so I have 700 equals 15x minus 29511. I'll move this to the other side. And uh, when I add 700, what do I get? Oops, 700 here. So I get, uh, so this is uh, 2 and 1, so 30, five, yes, 1, 1 equals 15x. So 2, 9, 5, 1, 1, when I move it to the other side, it was negative. I move it to the other side, it becomes positive. So when I add 700 to this, I'm checking again, 1, 1, yes, 2 and 1, 30, correct. So then x equals 30211 divided by 15. Now let's see what they want. Do they want an exact answer? I'm going to share now. Uh, let's see. Use the equation, the year in which the percentage of users will reach 100 is approximately. Simplify your answer. Use the answer for point A to find the answer, blah, blah, blah. Run to the nearest integer as needed. Okay, so when I divide, where is my calculator? Okay, I have to divide 30, 30211 by 15. Well, let's see what we get. Uh, I got the year 2014. And just to make sure, here's what I'm going to do next. Second and table, 
I'm going to plug in 2014 and see if I get 100% approximately. Just to check my answer. Who knows, but I, maybe I did something. Of course I wasn't expecting to get exactly 100% because there is a rounding error. But I know that at 2014 is roughly 100. Okay, so uh, where is my, what am I doing? Where is it? Right here. Okay, so then the answer is 2014. It says you know, the year in which the percentages will reach approximately. Where is my keyboard? Where is there? One, four. Okay, and again, okay, and then let's see what they want. Explain why the linear equation cannot be used for years after the year found in part C. Oh, yeah, because um, it already reached 100%. It can be 110%, right? So we can have 110% of a population. We can earn 110% this year versus what last year, but we can't have 110% um, or 105%. So the linear equation cannot be used for parts uh, for, for years past the year found in part C because the year found in part C lies outside the interval. Okay, so that is also a good explanation. Using the linear equation past the year would produce estimated percentage of internet user there. Yes, yes, that's that's it. Using the linear, but I have to read all three. Using the linear equation past the year found in part C would produce negative no. The year equation cannot be used for years past. No. So I guess um, there is some truth in part A. There is some truth in part A. Let me explain why. So when we try to estimate outside of a particular domain, the equation may not be valid anymore. So there is some truth to part A. So the whole thing is given to us between 2001 and 2008. 2014, as you see, is not in this interval. Because it is not in this interval, I can't say, unless you guarantee that the equation is still valid. If you guarantee that this equation is still valid outside of 2001 through 2008, I can estimate. If you say that it's valid, then I can. If you say, I don't know if this equation is valid outside of 2008, beyond 2008, then I, I have a problem with this because I don't have the data. So I'm going to consider B, but I have to say that there is some truth to part A as well. What was difficult here? I'd like to understand what was difficult. In this first part of the equation, um, when you have to add 72, can you show how you calculated that one more time? Because I'm not getting that same number unless I um, uh, subtract 72. Okay. So 15 times 2001 plus 72 times 7 is um, 30,519. So in the first part of the equation, I don't know how you got that number if you're adding 72. But this is a negative. Can I change this negative in front of this fraction? No. So I'm not adding this to this. This is negative. I cannot disregard the negative in front of the fraction line. So it's going to be OK. Okay, I, I can't. I can't say. Oh, I'm. I'm not going to consider positive. I'm not going to consider negative. I'm going to just add. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. This says negative. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. It's so it's adding to the negative number, which then you, you keep the negative. Okay. I so can't. I so what I did. Uh, let me let me see if I had it here. So see here, negative fifteen. Negative times 2001 plus 7 times 72. I can't disregard this symbol. And that's what I said. Be careful because you have to start with this. Okay. If you start with that. Unless you can, you can start with 7 times 72 and then you use minus this. 15 times 2001. 
So you can disregard any of the symbols or the signs because otherwise you will not get the correct answer. Okay. Um, anything else you would like to go back to? So I was going to show you a problem like that, but you, you selected the perfect one. That's awesome. Anything else? Anything else? Other questions from anything? Written homework or my lab math or... I'm hoping that you're going to go back now and just uh, redo those problems that we, we missed or whatever. Yes? The homework is still open, of course. I will never, ever close the homework. So one more time. The reason why I'm asking my students to keep up and um, 